The Northern Territory's Chief Minister has criticised Teal independents and Green activists during a speech at the National Press Club. Natasha Files defended her government's environmental credentials and accused her critics of failing to do their research. She might have been wearing teal, but that was no indication of the Labor Chief Minister's political allegiances. And the teals and trolls can spread their nonsense about it all they want, but they should know it's going to take a lot more than a couple of tweets for us to back down. Natasha Files' ire was raised by criticism of her government's plans to build an industrial hub at Middle Arm in Darwin Harbour. She says the project will help develop the energy sources of the future, including green hydrogen. Bagging out a development that supports zero and lower emissions from a place overwhelmingly powered by coal and oil, the hypocrisy is breathtaking. But the development will also be home to manufacturing projects using fracked gas from the Beetaloo Basin. Last week, Victorian Premier Dan Andrews announced a ban on natural gas in new homes. This Labor Advancing leader is taking a different approach. And there were some testy exchanges with journalists as Ms Files defended her government's environmental record. So what I'm saying to you is in terms of natural gas and the opportunities... And, and that natural gas will be obtained by, by fracking. And we've undertaken a five-year independent... over process over five years. We had a moratorium when we came to government in 2016. We undertook the Pepper Inquiry. Have you read the Pepper Inquiry? No, I haven't. Have you read I the haven't. Shariba? Uh, have you noticed the difference in temperature between Canberra now and when you were here as a student? Until you've read that report, don't try and stand here and pretend that you know more about what's going on with that industry. The Chief Minister fielded questions about alcohol restrictions and children in detention, and she expressed her support for the voice to Parliament. Matt Cunningham, Sky News.